I'm not sure whether we really have a strong need for uh, hard data in soft aspects of human improvement. Uh, we need hard data in terms of measuring skills, of course, uh, especially in math, reading, and uh, mastering of uh, um, computers, uh, digital technologies more generally, and so on. So these are the kind of hard measurable aspects uh, of uh, human capacity. Uh, but then uh, there are uh, ways in which one can stimulate creativity and are uh, not very easily um, defined in data. Let me give an example. In Slovenia, we have a very good network of musical schools. And uh, there are many people, young people, who are learning to, uh, to play various musical instruments. And I think the overall effect of this doesn't depend on anything measurable, but really on the energy of the mothers of children to make sure that their children go to musical schools at the right age and that they, they learn. Now, I have been president for five years and I have visited many small places in Slovenia, talked to musical school directors and mothers and so on. And I have seen how important this motherly energy is for the um, learning of music at young age. Of course, many children are not talented in, the, in this direction and of course they, they may even have some traumatic experience as a result. But on the other hand, the overall effect of this is that we have pretty good uh, generation of young musicians in Slovenia and that has to do with something which is really very difficult to measure. I would like to propose that uh, all governments stimulate everything that has to do with creativity and it starts often with something which is really very simple. For example, when I visited schools as president, I often said to the teachers and to students, I said, well, you know, you are usually told to be diligent, but I'm telling you, be creative. Diligence per se is not enough. Diligence may be good, but not sufficient. So please, teachers, teach your students to be creative. Invent something in your own method of work with your group of students which would stimulate their creativity. Now, in Slovenia, which is part of the Central European uh, educational tradition, this is not unimportant because that tradition has been for centuries uh, based on a kind of a top-down model of education which still exists. And therefore, uh, there is a need to deliberately inject the idea of creativity into the educational process. Uh, I would very much like that to expand. But I have seen, since I lived in the United States for 13 years as well, and my daughter went to school in New York, that the American tradition is different. There, I think, much more effort and much more emphasis is put on individual talent of students, stimulation of talent, can-do approach, optimism and all these things. And of course, that uh, educational tradition uh, I find quite beneficial, something that we in Europe have to learn from and perhaps uh, develop creativity by using the techniques of education which put creative elements more at the center. <music>